How's it going everyone? It's Sam. This market will be like no market you've seen before, this next bull market. I want to talk about that, talk about why you have to be very careful right now uh, because some stuff's happening that could be devastating if you're not careful. We're going to get right into it, but if you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn that bell notification underneath the video. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone that celebrates. Happy Black Friday to everyone that wants a deal today. Um, on the road here today, so we'll get back down to the uh, normal content in the office soon. Um, speaking of that, before we get started, if you don't mind, like I said, hit subscribe. While you're down there, there's a link down there to Marjex where you can trade on leverage. Not saying that's right for everyone, but in case you want to trade, try to amplify some returns. As you can see here, uh, I've done that before as well. There's no KYC, no VPN needed here. There's also a link down there to Blowfin which is another exchange similar to Marjax, uh, but has, I think, a little bit more functionality, more trading pairs. Um, so definitely check out both those links underneath the video. Now, cryptocurrency market is looking really good right now. Bitcoin actually hit the highest point that's hit all year, hit over uh, 38,000 earlier this morning, now calming down a bit, but all of coins are moving too. Now, I, I talk about some of these crypto exchanges, um, about trading and as always i i think that they are useful but that they should not be where you keep the majority of your crypto the reason that they're called exchanges is because you're supposed to exchange money for crypto there and not keep them on not keep your crypto on those exchanges and we're getting another reminder of that today huobi exchanges temporarily suspending withdrawals it's currently unclear why this is uh, we also have Another person saying that they suspended withdrawals again. Bittrex Exchange officially announces their shutdown. So this is an important reminder. Huobi has been hacked like four times, I believe, in the last couple months. Hacked. Some people think that they're actually stealing from their own clients and they're moving it over to Binance, stuff like that. So be careful. Anything attached to Justin's son is pretty sketchy. And Huobi in general, I, I don't know why anyone would keep their crypto there right now. Um, obviously, right now they have to because they have no other choice because they shut down withdrawals. But this is a good reminder to have some kind of cold storage solution like Treasure, who has a Black Friday sale. There's a link to it underneath the video where you can save 40% off to get out your cryptocurrency. Make sure that you get off your crypto, get your crypto off of exchanges because otherwise... It'd be devastating if we have this kind of massive bull run that everyone's expecting and you miss out because you had your crypto on the wrong exchange. So there's a link to it underneath the video. Maybe get it for someone that you know that doesn't have one too, that's in crypto that should have one. Now, one of the reasons I say that the next crypto market run, the next bull run will be unlike anyone that we've seen before is because there's record amounts of money sitting on the sideline. There's still record I, I think they're record there's a record number of people that are just sitting out right now of the market uh, I know I talked about this in a video recently but still not everyone sees every video and there's six trillion dollars six trillion reasons basically uh, to be bullish on the market because when people eventually get bullish which I think a lot of people should be getting bullish now we still have a really strong economy GDP is strong we have inflation coming down uh, we have better market sentiment. Uh, of course, there are reasons to be bearish on the economy too, but there, there's just a lot of money sitting on the sidelines and the economy is looking pretty strong compared to what people thought. People are going to want to flood into crypto and higher risk assets. So when that eventually happens and when the Fed starts lowering rates and the economy starts pumping in liquidity again, our economies across the world start pumping in liquidity, that's going to be really bullish for something that has a fixed supply. We obviously know that there's less Bitcoin than ever on exchanges to more. There's a record number of holders and we're actually nearly at 2 million Bitcoin on exchanges. Uh, at one point we were within 19 million Bitcoin of that number. So be ready because in the next probably few months, we're going to see or in the next probably month, we're going to see some news about Bitcoin hitting, uh, you know, record lows on exchanges under 2 million. 
Now, as I've said before, there's also just a major change whenever there's a Bitcoin halving because we go from 94% of the supply or 93% of the supply hitting the market over the last 14 years to only 6%, 7% being left for the next 120 years. So the fact is that everything changes. Everything changes from here on out. And like I said, there's a fixed supply, but there's infinite money. Uh, I was talking to someone in my family yesterday that has the majority of his money over 50 percent just sitting in money market funds and he's waiting to get into the market not necessarily crypto but just waiting to buy stocks heavily he's waiting for a 30 to 50 percent drawdown so there is record money just waiting to come into the market so be ready there are countries adopting there are large companies buying significant amounts of bitcoin i realize that some of this is stuff that i've said before but i want to reiterate that this is a crazy time uh, we're still under 40,000, which long term is going to be a good buy, in my opinion. Of course, we could always fall down from here. But with what's happening in the market, I don't see that happening very long. Or if, if we do fall down, I don't imagine it's going to be a huge drawdown. Right? Maybe we retest 32,000, but we've stayed in this channel, the same channel that we've been in for a long time which is extremely bullish. It looks like we might break out here soon as well. So if you wanna play that breakout, you can check out the link to Marjex underneath the video or Blowfin as well. And if you wanna get your crypto off of exchanges, check out this Black Friday deal from Treasure. It doesn't get any better than this. 40% the most that they're ever gonna give. So definitely check that out. Of course, it's kind of a quiet day in crypto right now. There's not a ton of news of, with the exception of just Bitcoin hitting, I guess, uh, new yearly high but overall not a ton of news but that's where we have to just remember long term we want to be investing in this thank you so much i appreciate it. i'm going to stop here so that you don't have mid-roll ads if we're under eight minutes you don't have to watch another ad so i appreciate it. check out those links i'll see you in the next one bye